is up, Brando Savage? What? It's your boy Brandon Little here. You know, you know, it's that vlogging lifestyle that I gotta keep living. You know, know what I'm saying? Uh, let me turn the light on for y'all. Uh, I'm gonna talk to y'all about something that's very, very important to me. I'm gonna need prayers after this. But, um, here we go. Now, as you guys know, okay, this started about two or three years ago whenever my Nana first got leukemia. Um, okay, it was about two summers ago. And we was all getting ready to go to Flagler Beach, Florida for the first time. And I, well, well, me and my mom was here at home. My dad was at work, I think. And, uh, and then uh, we, uh, my mom got a call or a text message, just can't remember. But it was about my Nana saying that some dealing with her, something like that. But uh, I don't remember what it was. But then a couple of days later, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And then they said that it was the kind that's curable. And then we, uh, okay, then, then she went to Pipeville Medical Center to start her, uh, I guess, like, get checked in and stuff like that. Uh, I really can't remember what it was. I, guess, I think she had to take, like, meds and stuff like that every day. And then at this, this is, like, during eighth, seventh grade year. When I, it was my first year playing football. Um. And then we went and seen her every now and then after practice and stuff like that. Um, then a couple months passed by, about a month or two passed by, and then they had to take her to, um, they take her to Lexington. She was supposed to go to Duke, North Carolina, somewhere like in the hospital range there. But it turns out like, I don't remember what it was, something happened and like she didn't get to go there and then they went all the way to Lexington, and then they ended up like faxing her papers and stuff like that or whatever to Duke instead of to Lexington. And then that took a couple of days or weeks or something like that to get back down to Lexington. And then she started her chemo sessions, and uh, that all went good. And then she started getting good news and stuff like that. And then uh, now, and now I want to fast forward to this year. She got to go this year. Uh, it was good. A couple days, it was good. We all, we all had we all had a blast at the beach and stuff like that. Um, then, like one morning, my aunts noticed that her eyes was yellow. And I, and if you guys remember, I posted a video at the beach. My papa told you guys why her her yellow her teeth her um, her uh, eyes was yellow. It was something dealing with her urinary system or something like that. I don't remember, but uh, that's basically what it was. And then she went to the uh, hospital in Flagler, Florida. I don't know if it was in Flagler. It was somewhere in that area. It may, it may have been in Daytona. I can't remember for sure. But um, yeah, after that, then a couple days later, they told us that she had to, she, we had to come home early and she had to go to Lexington. I mean, that was a that was basically a good thing to do because like her health is way more important than just a silly vacation. I mean, yeah, vacations for like family members and stuff like that, but a person's health is more important, especially when it comes down to family. You guys know what I mean. And then you know the chemo and stuff went like that. I I want to go back now. The chemo and stuff like that went good, and then basically the the leukemia was cured, but she like had to. Uh, she had to keep going back and doing stuff, chemo and stuff like that. But during her leukemia, like her chemo session, she had to like get up and walk so many laps a day and stuff like that. And a couple of weeks ago, whenever she went back, she had to like walk, walk, walk so many laps and stuff like that. But as I was saying, whenever she got the chemo cured, she had to keep going back and doing stuff. But then her numbers and stuff started going down and uh, stuff like that. And then, um, like, 
viruses or something like that started getting back in her body and like causing a bunch of problems and stuff like that and uh it started causing her numbers and blood pressure and stuff like that, I guess, to like go crazy or something. And now she's like, okay, one the, the other day she was she was found unresponsive in her bed. They was staying in uh, she was in she was in remission. They was in a room, and whenever they woke up that next morning, she was found unresponsive. And you know they've been staying in the hotel for a couple of weeks. Like she'd go to the hospital nurse needed to a couple times a day. But as I was saying, she was found unresponsive. They had to rush to the hospital, like do blood pressure work and stuff like that, and check her numbers. And then another day or two later, um, she uh, she was put in ICU. Um, the machine was breathing for her, and. Uh, what was it? Um, yeah, the machine and stuff was breathing for her, and her numbers dropped, stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, they had to do a dialysis on her today. Actually, yesterday, but I guess the results come in today. But basically, that's what it was. Like, the viruses and stuff like that was like getting back in her body and like caused a bunch of problems but now like I send her that uh, I don't I don't I'm not really for sure I'll have to get more info from my mom or somebody in the morning um if, if I'm up in time or well, no I'll probably just do it in the next vlog but I will get more info on my nana and I will get how I'll, I'll keep you guys updated in the in the vlogs um but yeah, basically that's what it was. But uh, that's basically like, I did a vlog like the whole day yesterday. Like it was just a sad day. Um, my mom texted me a bunch of times to tell me what was going on. Like um, she was just telling me what all my papa said and what all the doctors said and stuff like that. Uh, and. Then like they told my mom told me not what all what all happened and stuff like that and basically like I was sitting in the hall just thinking about it you know it was very very sad um, and then I went in the classroom I was all right and people started coming up to me and asking me if I was okay and that's when it hit me that that's whenever I started crying and that's whenever it started that's whenever it hit me and I started crying and feeling sad I was just thinking about it real hard and stuff like that everybody was really supportive. Everybody uh, cared for me and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Um, but uh, it's in God's hands now. Um, all all we can do now is just pray that the Lord will um, pray that the Lord will use His powers to uh, cure to get her better. You know, I'm not really good with words like that, but, you know, I try my best. Um, but it's in God's hands now to work his magic on my nana. Um, it, it's basically in the doctor's hands, but, it's all, but the biggest part in, is in God's hands. But, uh, yeah, nah, that's when it hit me. I just started crying and stuff like that, but after that I was good. I was just had, laughing, having a good time with my buddies. I had a good day at school. My teacher, Miss Cantrell, was really, really nice. Um, she said I didn't have to worry about my homework, you know, where I had a family, where, I'm, where I've been having family issues. Though. I really thank her for that, because I really needed that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's basically all I got for this vlog today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, because, guys, we got to keep my channel growing. We, we got to keep getting bigger. We got to keep doing stuff. We gotta get famous on YouTube. We got, we just gotta keep going. I want to become known on YouTube. I mean, I, I mean, I want to become big one day, but it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time and time and time, time and dedication. Vlogging every day, editing, put just doing all the work, putting work in and stuff like that. But I'm dedicated and I'm down to do it. And my friend Dustin's getting back into vlogging. I'm very excited to see what he has in store. Um, but, uh, 
guys if it wasn't for Dustin I wouldn't have a YouTube channel but I will talk to you guys about that another time but if you guys enjoy uh, story time comment down below yes if you guys enjoy story time and I will do I'll do it another time but other than that just be yourself and stay positive that's what I'm trying to do right now I, I'm trying to stay positive and just keep thinking positive things that way I won't be sad and stuff like that I just kind of keep doing stuff to, to keep me going in the uh, you know stuff like that but other than that hope you guys had a good day and it's your boy Brendo Savage here and I will see you guys next time peace so guys also you all know about Hurricane Harvey that, that hit Texas real real hard basically doubt no it was I think it hit Houston real hard, but another hurricane is, is it's forming in the ocean. It's called Hurricane Irwin. It's passing through Cuba as of right now. It's supposed to hit Florida in a couple of days. It's supposed to go like right through the middle of Florida. It's going up the uh, it's going up the west coast. And I heard my teacher say that if it goes in warm waters, it's going to pick up speed and become more threatening and dangerous. But if it's cold waters, it'll, it'll eventually like break down and stuff like that. But um, but uh, Florida has Florida has issued a state of emergency because it's going to hit them real, real hard. It's not I don't know, but I'm not real sure in details. But if I hear anything else, I'll, I will let you guys know in the next video. But.